you can do anything with it, especially out here. I mean, you can fish it shallow, you can fish it deep, you can fish it during a nor'easter. A lot of my bigger fish have come on bucktails. As far as I know, nobody used bucktails out there. Uh, they might have used them maybe chagwang or something, I don't know. But if they were fishing for bass or blues, uh, they didn't, I didn't see anybody use bucktails. We all used daughters, poppers, and, and uh, Adam 40s, that sort of thing. Daughters and poppers particularly. I don't even remember seeing guys using bucktails because I know when I was in front of the front of the lighthouse We were throwing J8s and counting to 10 to let them sink to the bottom and I was pulling fish It wasn't until Richie started going out with the bucktails Richie Andrews and 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 killing the fish with the bucktails And then everyone started and using the bucktails in front of the lighthouse. Um, I tell you the truth uh, probably the late 80s 89 or 90 is the first time that I started using the bucktails out here and until this day, many of the, the old timers, they won't use it. Percy Heat couldn't stand the bucktail. Uh, even Loco Joe, Frankie McCann, they really didn't like using a bucktail. But uh, they had to. I mean, they catch fish and there's no doubt about it. I was under the light fishing daughters with a few other people. And Richie came down. He's, he's throwing this white thing out in the water. And all of a sudden, no one's catching nothing. Richie gets like a 30 pound bass, then another one, then another one. And everybody's looking at him, seeing what he's fishing with. You know, everybody's really curious. Well, what the hell does he have there? You know, I'm sure maybe there was bucktails before, but I don't think they were ever used under the light. You know, it was, it was probably a sin to, you, you know, because we fish mostly at night, so no one, but it seemed like first, uh, first light with a high tide in the morning, which was the case when Rich was there turned out to be one of the best times to bucktail in Montour. And when Rich was done, everybody went over to him and, you know, looking at this thing, you know, and everything. And he followed it back to his car. And Rich was in the business. And I guess he, you know, he, he was from South Jersey. So I think bucktails had caught on back on the jetties in uh, Cape May and stuff. And, and he brought them out to Montauk. And he went back and he had a lot of bucktails and he handed them out. He gave people bucktails and everybody started using them. And then Johnny found out about it and, you know, and got in touch with Rich and got a big order of bucktails in and they sold and people kept coming back for more and more and, and it turned out to be the plug to have around Montauk. Now actually the person who gave me my first bucktail to use on the beat was Jack E. And uh, we were at North Bar and he said, hey, Vito, try this. And uh, I said, nah, yeah, try it. And I tried it and I caught a few fish. And uh, yeah, I kind of fell in love with it, and I own you know, a couple of hundred now, I guess. When I got to Montauk, we fished plugs. Um, there really wasn't a lot of daytime action back in those days. Um, it was the, the fish that came through in the daytime with the little schools of bluefish um, would catch, catch them on poppers and uh, on a few plugs. but. Um, we, we didn't fish bucktails and we didn't fish for bass in the daytime. It was several years of fishing Montauk before I caught my first bass in the daytime. There was very little daytime fishing back in those days. We never used bucktails in, the, in front of the lighthouse in the nighttime. It was all plugs, bottle plugs and darters. That, that were the only things that was done in the nighttime. I remember a, a day we were on the south side in May, um, I don't know, going back like 10 years ago. And this area used to be hot if we got nor'easter. Big, big water, and we're throwing, well, I am, I was alone. I'm throwing uh, ounce and a half bucktails, and I started getting hits, switched to a three quarter ounce, and man, oh man, I had, I had, uh, I can't remember if it was three, it might have been four. I'll call it four because it's three, you know. I'll call it four fish over 40, and I had a bunch of 30s that day. It was un friggin' real. I had fish that couldn't even stop all because of the bucktail. You couldn't throw anything else out there. You know, now they got the wild eyes and they got they got the shad bodies. They're good too, but man, nothing holds like a bucktail. You know, you can do so much with the plug. I don't know what I'd, I'd be lost with that. I stopped fishing heavily at Montauk after the 75 season and only went out a couple of times after that. And uh, I didn't find out that they were, were using bucktails until years later, probably in the late 80s, early 90s. Well, white bait, bucktails stand on in their own. And being that there's less and less night fishing now, you know, it's getting to be all bucktails. There was several 50s caught under the light of bucktail. I never got, you know, I think the biggest fish I ever got in a bucktail period is about 30 pounds, but 
Uh, there was a lot. There was a lot of fifties. People got their fifties on a book deal. 